Oh my God. Welcome to Half of This is Planned, the show with two halves and one of the halves is planned. It's prepared material and the other half is just chaos. It's just Isn't. Up. It's, yeah. It's how, it's how it is. How, how are you doing, Hannah, on this beautiful oh, man, Beth? It's been, I, I'm having a, actually, it was a, it was a real fuck of a week. I had a bad week, I had a really stressful, bad week. But then today I really like internalized the words of my therapist when she was like, calm down. And I did. And I took a bath and I have no reason to tell this story other than to brag about my self-care. So oh, that's no, that's very, I think that's the the 2020 mood is brag yeah. about self-care. That's awesome. Oh my God. I'm, Thanks, Beth. I'm so happy How, are you? Beth. How are I, you? I, I just think uh, I'm good. I'm pretty good. I uh, no, I've been wasting a lot of time on Facebook, you know, oh. as I am want to do, but uh, I have been, I've been proud of myself because I've been spending less time getting in fights in the comments on Facebook, you know, now you thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, if you are friends with me on Facebook, you might be like, really, you know, is that really accurate? I'm going to say it's a lot less bad than it once was. So that's it's progress. It's good. Uh, but something I've noticed recently uh, that I've been really getting into is neighborhood Facebook groups. <laughs> I love those. I they just joined my neighborhood. Wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, the, it is the wild west out there. Like I saw this one post that was all like, oh my God, like my, my neighbor is smoking weed and the police won't do anything. Like you need to chill the fuck out, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, where's my lighter? <laughs> you know, like it's not even illegal. <coughs> oh my God. This is, anyway, this is a great one. <laughs> okay. This show is great. While well, Hannah is catching up to me in a uh, litness. Uh, this show is awesome. It's one of my faves. How it works is we have four amazing stand-up comedians who are great, and they do their stand-up. <laughs> and then the improv people, they do the improv based on or inspired by the stand-up instead of having people shout out stuff. Because if Zoom shows have taken away anything... They've taken away the drunk dude in the front row telling us to do shows about the word penis. And for that, I am grateful. Thank you. Thank you, COVID-19. Yeah, I was wondering that. What is the most common thing that gets yelled out when you ask? Pineapple. This? Pineapple? Pineapple by really? far. It's, it's weird because people think that it's a weird word. But right. it's not. It's like the weird fruit because people think like food. What's a weird kind of food? A fruit. What's a weird kind of fruit? A pineapple. But it's like everybody says that. So interesting. Well, the more you know, oh, uh, that is well, that's uh, yeah. I guess like Hawaiian pizza is very controversial. Well, um, yeah, Hannah, I'm gonna if you're good, I'm gonna bring up our first comic. Please that, do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Exciting. Okay, you get the fuck out of here. Our first comic. <laughs> Speaking of Facebook, uh, I had uh, never met this person outside of Facebook, but everything he posted was so fucking funny. I just liked all of it. And then I was like, this is maybe too much liking, but you know, who doesn't like to be liked? Listen, guys, uh, I messaged him. I'd never met him. And I was like, hey, you have a show in Maine. Can I come do the show in Maine? And he was like, yes. And I had a great time and it was awesome. And we had a lot of lobster. And he's very funny. And uh, he does a comedy award show. That's, it's like the Dundies of comedy, maybe. I don't know if that's a rude thing to say, but I, I like The Office. So uh, he is amazing. And here he comes. Please give a warm welcome to Marcus Cardona. Yeah. Live from the Whoa. boys, Marcus Cardona. Uh, yeah, this is the chaos. I am the chaos that they were talking about in the show. 
Uh, Beth was talking about pineapple pizza. Uh, cancel Beth. That's all my thoughts are right there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, it's fun to be doing Zoom comedy in 2020. Uh, this, this is always weird because, like, even though I have the crazy background, it always just feels like, uh, are we getting hacked right now by, like, this trippiest, like, you know, Twitch streamer? We don't know. But I'll give you guys uh, realism real quick. Just break the void. Boom. There we are. Now we're back in the void. Okay, cool. Reset the room. <laughs> ah, let's go for it. Um, yeah, we're talking about like, let's see, Hannah was talking about like, you know, just bragging about fitness. That's pretty much it. I've never seen so many people. It's been a big year for fitness. Like everyone who had like a fitness routine was solid. More importantly, everyone who had an air fryer uh, was a Republican. They were like the like braggiest people ever. I've never <laughs> seen so many proud people. I'm like, I thought air fryer hats would become a thing. And then it was just like just all this healthiness of like what you're supposed to be doing. Like the air fryer is better because we're not using oil. We're frying air. And I'm just like, I failed physics. So I had to like relearn everything whenever someone had <laughs> the air fryer. <laughs> and it's been, it's been interesting. Uh, I don't know where you guys all are. Yeah. Like Beth said, I'm in Maine. So I'm surrounded with doomsday preppers. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in Brooklyn, so I had to go hang out with my uh, parents like when I came back here. And my parents are hoarders. And we were talking about how people were arrogant with air fryers. Hoarders are probably the most arrogant this whole time. Like for years, years, like I'd been coming home for the holidays from like comedy tours and stuff like that. And I'd have to go back home and be like, Mom, you're a hoarder. This year I came back. I was like, Mom, you're a hoarder. She's like, No, I'm prepared. Like in such an arrogant way. <laughs> in such an arrogant way. Like there was like little things that I like. I didn't feel like I needed to go out shopping. Like when everyone was doing toilet paper stuff, I was like, No, we were hoarding this whole time. It's fine. We actually have decorative napkins we could use as toilet paper if it comes out. Christmas, Halloween, <laughs> New Year's, New Year's twenty twenty. <laughs> like new year's 2018 i don't know why but we still have 2018 napkins and it just like seems like a laugh in my face when i use them it, that's it's very weird um but uh yeah i'm a pretty trippy guy if you could tell from my background i did uh shrooms at the beginning of the pandemic uh any people do psychedelics out here all these black squares that i'm talking to <laughs> <laughs> okay hell yeah okay cool like if you're if you do psychedelics like you have like a weird like kind of like unison moment where we're like we can't go outside so we're gonna go in and uh <laughs> It's dark. Uh, it goes in really far. Uh, I wasn't ready for a lot of stuff. Um, like, it was weird because, like, this whole pandemic, we kind of made Corona cuts. Me and Beth became closer. Never met this woman in my life. We might be in love. Who knows? I've seen the cat stuff. I'm down. Whatever. Um, but yeah it's uh it was weird like you know you really found who was important to you in this world like you know there's people that made cuts people who didn't make cuts people who you thought were super important and the thing is like i was talking to a girl before this pandemic and then like we reconnected probably like two months ago and we were talking a bunch and my friends they all were like marcus why are you talking to that girl? She ghosted you, man. Marcus, why are you talking to that girl? She ghosted you. I'm like, dude, I'm Asian. Asians don't get ghosted. We get spirited away. Spirited away. Oh. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's this is this is just a cultural reference. I love that joke so much during this pandemic. I got it tattooed on my arm. I just, this, this is how Zoom shows work. You get to see the detail of stuff. Uh, but it's been interesting. Um, I've been having like deeper conversations. Uh, I am an uncle for both a nephew and two nieces, which is really cool. Um, people are like, oh, Marcus, you still don't plan on having kids. And like as a millennial, like, you know, I'd rather just rent than own. So I'm fine being an uncle. I'm <laughs> very, <laughs> very fine being committed to that. Um, but people are like still trying to figure out like, you know, what our future is, where the economy is going, blah, 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 blah. And people are asking about like, oh, what have you done to contribute to climate change? And I've been like, you know, I've like, you know, I cut down on straws, but every time everyone gets like super arrogant and I'm just like, dude, you know what? This year I actually drove one friend to an abortion clinic. So I did a lot. Actually, I did so much for climate change. My carbon footprint is so small. Like the only way that I could have done more is if I like piggyback ride rode her to the like, you know, clinic. I just like carry her on my shoulders. I'm like, ah, you guys take walk-ins. Like, just be real weird about that. 
my God. It'd be it'd be two separate trips. It'd be like if I was walking there, like you know, it'd be a pain. But when I was walking back, you know, I'd feel the weight of responsibility. <laughs> like there's oh. that much less. It weighs so much less. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh God! Oh yo! I hope whoever does improv with this uh, has fun. But anyway, guys, <laughs> Cardona, pineapple. What's up? Uh. <laughs> Please give it up for Marcus. That was amazing. So pro feminist, and that was awesome. Uh, please, if you want to remain, check him out. He's great at shows or New York City, where our next comic is also from. She has an adorable dog. It is so cute. And she also has a great podcast called Who Among Us. It is not about that game that I'm looking <laughs> at. Yet. Please give a warm welcome to Kristen Selfman. Oh, hello. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I actually, I have two dogs. Um, the second one was unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I am happy about is that I am quarantining with my dogs um, and not my ex-boyfriend, right? Thank God for that. Um, you guys ever meet someone and they tell you their parents didn't love them and then you um, get to know them and you're like, oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> right? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was this guy. Uh, he was the worst. I actually let him move into my apartment. And right away, uh, you learn a lot about someone when you're living with them. I learned that he was a pathological liar. You guys, he lied so much. He like didn't even make sense anymore. One night he was like, Kristen, I think I'm going to marry you because you're the only woman who's ever made me come. <laughs> And I was like, but you have four kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he told me he had kids on his second date. You know, he did tell me that. He, and I was like, wait, kids? Like, how many? He was like, oh, three or four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember telling the story to my best friend. And she was like, wait, three or four? Like, you don't know how many? Or he doesn't know how many. <laughs> and I was like, he is six two, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> uh, turns out that was another lie uh that guy was only like five nine <laughs> also i can't tell how tall men are so that is a thing uh, i don't know if that guy ever found out about the fourth kid uh but i do know that he knows everything in the world about squatters right so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I found out that guy got married recently. I found out on Facebook. Uh, I have a secret Facebook account that I use to look at people who have blocked me. Everyone has this, right? Uh, some people are surprised. It's well, well worth the time and resource it takes to make this. Uh, highly recommend. <laughs> highly recommend. <laughs> Um, best afternoon I ever spent. But anyway, um, I found out that this guy was married and I was like, oh, I didn't want to marry him, but it weirded me out. Like, how'd this guy get married? And I was talking to my friend and we were looking at the pictures on Facebook and she was like, Kristen, did you really want to get married in a backyard to someone wearing a Seattle Seahawks jersey? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was like, Lauren, you're not even paying attention. That was a front yard, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am really close with my mother, um, you know, like very close to hang out all the time. She told me recently that I was her best friend. She's known me for over 30 years. So my question is, who died? <laughs> right? <What is> that? <laughs> um, why did I just get <laughs> that title? Um, but yeah, we hang out all, all the time. We also look a lot alike. Um, and then I people will tell us we're sisters, which she loves and I hate because like, yeah, we look alike, but she's 30 years older than me and has never moisturized, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know, I, I, someone once said that we look alike. And then my mom was said to me, we actually don't look that much alike, Kristen. No one ever thought um, I was pregnant because I wore a flowing dress. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe because you're 60. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> the other thing is, I'm really affectionate with my mom, so sometimes people will think we're a lesbian uh, couple, <laughs> <Right>? oh. <laughs> <laughs> which is weird too because, like, I feel like I could do better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 I, I could get a better class of, of lesbian, but um, <laughs> me and we get along really well as long as we don't talk about politics. That is a deal we've made because we just don't agree, so we just don't talk about it. But every once in a while, she'll let one slip. 
she said this recently. She's like, oh, I really like Donald Trump, you know, because he just says whatever he wants. He doesn't care what anybody thinks. <laughs> and I was like, cool. But how come when grandma did that, uh, you put her in a home, <laughs> right? Oh, <laughs> <Same. Yep. laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to put my mom in a home, you guys, uh, but that doesn't mean I won't threaten her with it, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> to dinner. And I'll be like, you got this one, mom? And she's like, Christian, you are you are expensive. And I remind her what's expensive is the old age home where the people don't all have mysterious bruises, right? That comes from <laughs> oh, <wow>. oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, I told I told you that my mom and we don't agree on politics. There is one Democrat that my mother loves. It is not me. <laughs> not me uh it, <laughs> it is uh new york's governor cuomo uh, mm -hmm. uh you know i don't know if it's a nipple rings or whatever she loves this guy mm -hmm. you know i think it's just less about my mom and more about like the world that we're in right now like this man is a governor of new york state he went on tv and he was like hi i don't want to kill your grandparents and every woman i know was like hello how do i have sex with this man <laughs> <laughs> the bar is super low <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris is going to be just me and my mom this year, but usually uh, I have a big Italian family on that side. So usually I have to decide who I'm going to sit next to at dinner. Uh, the racist, the sexist, the one who runs the pyramid scheme. <laughs> 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 I usually go for pyramid scheme guy. Uh, he's got lots of stories and lots of free shakes. You know what I mean? That guy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got I got stuck uh, next to the sexist. I have a stepbrother. Uh, he is a men's rights activist. This is true. Oh. Uh, he's fighting a good fight. And he asked me, he was like, Kristen, <laughs> how do you feel about the war on men? And I was like, I feel we need to send more troops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name is Kristen. That's my time. Thank you. Yeah. And that was awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, um, wow. the first, the planned portion of the evening <laughs> is now over. And there now went. here comes... <laughs> chaos. Oh my god. Chaos. We have a lot, of, a lot of good fodder. We have abortion clinics. We have racism. Uh <laughs> Trump. God, what what didn't you guys give us? Uh so let's bring out our improvisers so you can see them all real quick. Everybody just flick on your cam. Great. Excellent. I think we're missing somebody. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh and now we're gonna do improv based on what you just saw. So somebody start. Um, excuse me. Uh, I was just checking out the um, flag section, uh, and I, 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 it must be a mistake, but I couldn't find uh, an air fryer flag. <laughs> <laughs> Could you help me out? Sorry, sir. Did you say an, an air fryer flag? Yeah, uh, I want an air fryer flag for my truck, uh, so that everybody knows uh, that I know about convection. I'm sorry, sir. We just expanded this Hudson News. We don't. Um, we only have just generic, you know, the large countries at this point. I'm. Well, I'm this is this is a disaster. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going I'm flying home to Tennessee, uh, and I need my family, my extended family. The whole, the, all of the cousins are coming coming over, and I couldn't bring my air fryer on the plane because it's a hazard apparently. So I need flag. <laughs> It's, do you have like a, like, a, like an air fryer cookbook or something that I could like fashion into a flag? Yeah. Um, you know, um, uh, there's a magazine back there uh, with um, Emerald on it. And um, I think that perhaps- I saw, I saw that flag and it was a conventional oven. I'm, I'm not one of those uh, induction burner people. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a coastal induction burner person. Sir, I, we don't have any air fryer flags. It's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. And I do have people. And honestly, oh, I'm sorry. You don't have air fryer flags. Do you have any air fryer tank tops? No. Uh, I thought of that I, too. I mean, clearly you can see that I'm. I come from an air fryer family, as my shirt does say. Pro life is my pro. God bless. Uh, and so, uh, God bless indeed, sir. Where are you from? Tennessee. I'm from Alabama. Wouldn't you just talk about two people kissing in the hot sun in July in Alabama? Oh, my goodness. I think we're going to get in a layover together. Oh, my goodness. Shut the fuck up. I am so sorry. I just had to slide right in here when I heard y'all's accent. Please tell me they've got, they've got air fryer magnets. I just need it for my collection. I don't want to be more disappointing than a mosquito eating my blood, but... <laughs> Guys, well, look, look, we don't have, we don't have air fryer anything. We, we, what? 
No. Wow. Okay. So this must be one of these AOC shops, huh? This is I didn't where want to say it. I didn't want to say it. All the left wing terrorists go. Black Lives Matter shops here, huh? Ma'am, I never, I never brought up any politics. You were the one that, that brought up politics and your abortion. You, you brought it up by not having an air fryer fight, by not representing us. Absolutely. In this Hudson News. There should be air fryer merchandise up and down the walls. I will not shop here, and I will tell everybody on Facebook that everybody who shops here has mm. killed a baby in their life. And you know that you know that Facebook gets all of the the listens. Everybody's on Facebook these days. Uh, My everybody. aunt Aunt Marva uh, is on it. Hey, excuse me, I'm I'm Candace Owens. You might you might recognize me. Um, do you have an oh, air fryer? Oh my god! No, no, no. 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 It's just sim- it's simply you, un-American. All of you come on a bus or something. This is this is honestly the first time, the first day I've had asked for an air fryer. Ma'am, Shut we're down, in a- you donkey-lipped piece of lard. This is Candace Owens. Okay. I bet you like Jay-Z, don't you? I bet you like rappers that sold cracked black people. Mm-hmm. I bet you don't even put sugar in your tea. I'm, I, I need to go to the Chili's to go. Edit. Edit. Baby... I really want to accept this proposal. This diamond ring is so gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I really, I went all out for it. You know, three months a day and everything, honey. You, you're just, you're, you're the love of my life. I, I can't imagine living my life without you. God, it's so sparkly, so huge. This must be at least six months worth of salary. That's a big commitment, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, you know, but... You know, I, you know, I get cold feet and I get really nervous about things not lasting. You know, I want things to be forever, you know? Yeah, me too. I mean, this is, that's, that's why I want to marry you, honey. uh, I really think that we have what it takes to to be forever. (laughs) You know, like I could lose this ring, right? Like it could just be like chopping vegetables and like set this ring aside and it could fall in a drain and stuff. So like, I feel like. Like, I want things to be more permanent, you know? Like, I like to, you know, hold on to the things I really love, right? Like, you know, like, if we got, like, oh, like, tattoos or something of, like, you know, more than just your name, right? Because your name is, like, John Smith. That could be anyone, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it is my name, so. It's your name. It's your name, baby. But I want, again, I want to tattoo the things that I love onto my body, in such a way that it is a clear, permanent commitment, maybe onto my face, like right here. Under your can face. See. Yeah, like maybe like uh, John here and Smith here, kind of like <laughs> just to kind of follow my eyebrow pattern. Um, I, I mean, honey, I, I think your face is beautiful the, the way it is. Um, I don't I don't think you necessarily have to walk around with my name tattooed on, on your face in order for, for you to, to know that I love you and for us to last forever. And I love that you love the way my face is. And that's why I want to tattoo your name onto my face because I love you. Uh, yeah. I mean, honey, that, that is, that's great. And I'm so committed to you. And I think like nice little like tattooed rings would be wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know, something that we would know is there, but everyone in the world doesn't necessarily have to know, you know, wait, my name on your are face. You, wait a minute. What do you mean? Like no one else has to know. Is it like a secret? No, no, it, it, it's not a secret. I just think that just because people can see things doesn't mean that they are going to last forever. You know, things do end it, even if you, you can see them. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> cut to these no. two. Cut to these two at a holiday party. <laughs> oh my god, whose husband? Even is yours. I see no name on your head. This is <laughs> so embarrassing for you. Did you come alone, Kim? <laughs> I did it! I did it! Uh, John, come here. Yeah. Come here. What? What? Uh, clearly, Bitch. you have some stuff to work out. Hey, 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 hey uh, do you, you want to dance, uh, Smith? Do you want to just, uh, bro? I'm, bro, I'm standing right here. Well, I, I don't understand. There's, there's no, there's no name on either of our, any of our foreheads. So we're all single, obviously. This, that, what? That's not how it works. See. It very much is how it works. 
I basically should just fuck this guy because I'm on the market. Hey, I've got four names. I could fill up a whole face. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so forward, but you know, like nobody uh, appears taken. Do you want to do like maybe a, a group thing? How about we get some temporary tattoos going all night? <gasps> scene, 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 scene. <laughs> Uh, Randy, I'm, I'm so happy um, that we got a chance to really spend this time together. Um, you know, who knows? It might just be our last drive together. Uh, what, what do you mean? Why would this be our last drive? Uh, you know, the, the environment's been really, like, taking a hit recently. And, um, you know, we all need to do our parts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, I mean, we can drive less. I've been, I've been like trying to like Uber pool around, take more public transportation. But I mean, that doesn't mean we need to, like, we need to stop driving together or anything. Like, I mean, well, I just think that you taking all these rides and everything, just that's not really like, you know, great for the environment. And I, and I, and I just, I think it might be time for you to, um, to go to a home. To for me, I'm sorry for me to what. <laughs> Go to a home, okay? What is that? That's 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 a bit extreme. That you to save to help the environment. I need to go to a home. Yeah, somewhere <laughs> where they put all you old people together, and you guys don't have to move as much. And you don't fuck up the environment, Grandma. Like th this is about the future. You've had your time, okay? <laughs> son, I, I son, I raised you. You ready to go? I've got the uh, I've got the van waiting outside for Wait, the who, elderly who is woman. <laughs> Ma'am. I'm from Shady Stars Assisted Living. I'm here to bring you to your new paradise. But I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even that old yet. I'm only 62. I get around fine. I don't. I don't. Even, I can take care of myself. <laughs> no, that's that's old. That's 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 barely retirement age. Grandma, look, we've really we, we did the best we could. Okay, there, there's a lot of different places we could have sent you and. But we, we picked the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm hey, hey, yo, I'm from, uh, hey, I'm an intern, Shady Pines. I uh, I brought a coffin. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She, it's her first day. She's interning. No, uh, Kim, I love that enthusiasm. I so no, do. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is like, it's already right here. Is there like a discount? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We can give no, you. We, we don't need a coffin. I'm still a spry old woman. I, I just ran a 3K. Whoa. Oh, we, we'd love to get you the wheel and box special. We wheel her out today. We put her in a box when the time comes. You're not going to stand here and plan my death in front of me outside. Oh. Uh, is now the time that we talk about which plot you'd like? No. That, no, that I, I, no, no. This is not the time for plots. It if you really book it all is, today, it is a flat fee. Also, never too soon to think about forever. <laughs> Someone's about to get cut out the will, okay? Me? How about that? Uh, uh, Shady Pines Legal Counsel, do you need uh, do you need a notary for yeah, I think we should end of life that. documents? No, no, no. Yeah. no. I, I don't. I don't need to, anything notarized. I don't need end of life documents. Son, got, son this is stamp. ridiculous. No, no, don't, no, don't you notarize anything, okay? Son, will you please send these people away? I live on my own. I'm fine. I'm, I'm out there. I'm dating. I'm on, I'm on the Bumble. We've got a nice man. Lovely place near the, uh, near a bench. So you can we even, it. we have a shuttle that'll bring you to a restaurant that has a ramp. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't use a cane. I don't need a ramp. I'm not in a wheelchair. You can look at me. Look at me. Look at me run in place. There's like an old woman to you. There's like somebody that needs to go in a home. No, man, you oh. ought to sit down. You could pull something. I, Ten minutes. Look, I'm totally fine. I, I don't need to go in a home. I don't need. I don't need a notary. I don't need. I don't need overzealous interns bringing coffins. I don't need any, any of it. Okay. But you've used so much carbon. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> hey mom. 
Mom? Yes. Hey, I need a really big favor from you. Anything. <laughs> Look, I'm going, I'm going to Carla's wedding on Saturday and I don't have a date. So, I mean, I just need somebody like, I don't want to be going single. I've been single for 20 years now and they're going to talk about it. So I just need like, yeah, I was a lesbian. So yeah, you think that, yeah, I don't, I mean, we're best friends. So I thought maybe you would, you know, go with me faking, obviously. Babe. I've been waiting for you to ask me for, for years. I mean, we, you are my best friend, honey bunny. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. That's why. And that's why I asked you. I knew that you would, you would be cool with it. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I could just see the like little place cards next to each other, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, I didn't really think that far into it. Um, <laughs> I, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna, you know, really play it up that much. Like, don't uh, oh, cut to the party. Cut. cut to the party. Hey, are you single? It looks like you're uh, alone. You're not here with your mom. <laughs> I'm uh, right here. I'm her mother. <laughs> oh, well, I don't see that on your face. So I guess you're alone. It's not at all. Are you? You're, are you considering where's this? my Honey. baby oh <laughs> where's my mm. baby mm. oh She's who got appetizers <laughs> this good boy this good boy got appetizers yes. see, Sam, this could be us this could be us but you said no mom don't overdo it and i toned it down for you i toned I, it down for you baby I didn't know the the whole, the girls from Hawaii were going to be here, or I would have, I don't know, put some Sharpie on my forehead. You Aloha. do that? They don't. They're, <laughs> they have their own thing going. Everyone stand back. <laughs> hey, 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 15 feet, squatter's right. <laughs> You're gonna say something, you have a problem with me ex exercising my rights here? Sir, I, I know you wanna come into Planet Fitness and we're closed because of COVID. Uh, we will. You don't need to do squats outside the plan of fitness. Okay, we're 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 going to be open soon. I have taken adverse possession of this parking lot region, and I I will. If you have a, if you want to bring a lawyer, you can bring a lawyer. I'm squatting. I mean, I, I guess that's your right to do so, but you, you can. Correct. That is correct. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. Why is there a crew here? Uh, Hank, Look. you don't have to whisper. Like, he can't hear you anyway. Yeah, we you, you, you just speak up just a. We, we'd like to hear what you say. Sorry, sorry. Can you can you guys hear me better? Yeah, now? we got you. We got you. I was just saying that I don't think we really have to spend too much time with this guy. I'm pretty sure he has what maybe two sets left in him. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna for the next four hours because I can and it's legal. Cut to three and a half hours it. later. Cut to three and a half hours later. <laughs> Look, I haven't gone on my lunch break, so <laughs> go ahead and. I think he's going faster. That's right. Cut to, the next... Ice, baby. Cut to the next day. The next morning at 6 a.m. <sighs> Uh, sir, I guess I got to admire your persistence in squatting. Uh, if you need us to call you an ambulance, uh, just let us know. Sir, are you okay? Are you? Oh, 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 he's down. I, uh, is this now when I ask about the, um, the burial plot? That is all the improv you get for right now. <laughs> Let's listen to some more stand up. <laughs> the, improv, the improv people, the improvisers. Hi, we're improv. 
which happened. That was fantastic. It was a little dark, uh, a little bit. Uh, they were talking about babies, which reminded me of the original reason that I was ranting about neighborhood Facebook groups in the beginning, which is that someone posted in my neighborhood Facebook group uh, free baby furniture, like a high chair and a changing table and a crib at you know 28th and like some intersection. Note, needs to be cleaned. Oh, shit. What the? Hello, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, well, you know, it just made me very upset. I don't know what happened there, but it made me very upset about the baby furniture. It made you so mad. Literally, the internet could not handle it. It couldn't handle it. You know, it just made me really upset uh, because there's a pandemic and that's disgusting. That's like, mm. like a free couch has bed bugs. Like that's just, that's just, you just it's just trash. All right, well, that got fucked up. Okay, so coming up next, we have a great comic who I met uh, at the improv theater. Uh, she is hilarious. Uh, she's a great Instagram. She's so funny. Please give a warm welcome to Nakia Hampton. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. Yeah. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep, yep. Ooh, this is my first Zoom show since like May. I had to take a break. Um, I was just tired of seeing white people laughing and happy. So <laughs> I'm actually uh, glad that everybody has their cameras off so I don't have to see this. But um, <laughs> now, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here living in the panoramic like everybody else trying my best. Um, people be asking me how I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, I'm not even sure if I'm actually alive right now. So <laughs> it just is what it is. Like let's just let's just keep it at that. I've been trying to like find healthy ways to deal with being in this situation. So I try to like stay off social media. Like I deleted my Twitter. In my Instagram a couple of days ago, but I still have like the muscle memory like on my phone, my hand. So I just be scrolling down Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so cute. It's like, oh, you sent your best friend money for lunch. That's so sweet. Like, like that. Double tap on that. Um, yeah. Uh, what's new? <laughs> like. I don't know, nothing like, well, okay, that's not true. I do have some excitement in my life. I'll be going to the supermarket and <laughs> it's amazing. Like, I've been <laughs> all types of stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it's been really fun. Um, I went to the doctors the other day and it's always like awkward when they ask you how many partners you've had in the year and you have to like, wait and think a little bit and you know to a hoe because they always answer like that's okay that's okay <laughs> 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 oh man my friend um my friend just had a uh well she invited me to her dinner party in the middle of a pandemonium so i really had to like sit down and think like is she trying to kill me <laughs> she could be mad about that time when we was in high school and i stole her shirt to wear to the party and she really wanted to wear that shirt so i don't know if she's still mad about that but <laughs> i do think that she is trying to kill me <laughs> um what else? Also, her birthday is in the winter. And I feel like everybody that got birthdays in the winter, you're just selfish. Stop celebrating your birthday if it's in the winter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna be the one to say it because don't nobody else want to say it. We don't want to celebrate with y'all. Okay. 
Make it a Zoom party with or without food. <laughs> we don't want to be perfect anymore. I'm just putting it out there. Nobody else going to say it. I'll be the one to say it, okay? <sighs> I'm looking forward to this stimulus check if it ever comes. I heard that it's going to be an Amazon gift card for $25, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Use it wisely. I don't know if you can put it down towards rent, but I guess ask somebody. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I just think it's crazy that the people in Congress, they're the ones deciding what we do with our lives, but they go home and have to be reminded to take their medicine. Like, (laughs) (laughs) don't add up to me. Like, they really think it's like 1988 or something. Like they're not, they all have dementia, like literally. <laughs> <laughs> very serious guys. Like we need to, as a collective, like take a look at this because it's not right. They old as fuck. They don't need to be that old. This is my plan. I feel like we need to have one-on-one fights with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plan. Like, I feel like, we should go out there. It's Congress versus us. And it's a <laughs> battle. A dance battle, something. But we will win. Like, why can't we just beat them the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know. I just feel like people should not have all that money. Like, there should not be only a little bit of people that got hella money and people that don't have shit, okay? Either give mm. us all $6 million <laughs> or give us all $30 an hour. <laughs> that yes. that a okay everybody all of us $30 an hour or $6 million. I'll let them decide when we have our dance battle um, my <laughs> name is thank you Beth and Hannah and everybody else you guys are so cool um, bye follow me on Instagram and stuff at Petty yes, yes. Thank you. oh my god that was very relatable all of it oh yeah, my god sorry. I just want to say how much, like, I want to punch Mitch McConnell in his little turkey <laughs> thing. Like, the <laughs> giblet. That's all I have. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. No, um, I'm anxiously waiting on my stimulus check. I think we all are. But uh, in the meantime, <laughs> I uh, am very excited to bring up our next and final stand-up comedian. He is one of my favorites, and he's been posting really, really funny videos on Instagram and TikTok this whole pandemic. Uh, my favorite uh, Zoom comedian, Rose Heckler version of any type of comedian <laughs> Rose Heckler video I've ever seen is my favorite. He is the best. Please give a warm welcome to Scott Cease, everyone. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you, Beth. I love this show. The show is so much fun. Um, but I will say this show makes me feel like I wasted so much time. Like, I, <laughs> like the standups were like, we took months to write these jokes and all the improvisers are like, we're going to do something just as good in five seconds. Fuck you. How about that? How about that? No, I it, know it's great. I love it. It's very fun. Um, what have I been doing this quarantine? I've, I celebrated my second wedding anniversary this quarantine. Um, thank you. I, yes, I'm married. And I'm only in seventh grade, if you can believe that. (laughs) We were young to be married. My wife and I, that's what people tell us. Uh, We were so young when we got married. Our first dance was to head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. (laughs) That's fun, right? I grew the mustache to to look older. Is it working? Does anyone think it's working? No? (laughs) Beth is being very polite, but I don't, I think it's a no. Someone the other day told me I look like if Luigi shopped at Target. Now, is that good? (laughs) I don't know. I'm an eighth grader now with the mustache. That's right. I got the peach fuzz. Uh, I do love I do love being married, though. Uh, It's great. I uh, a lot of people come to me for relationship advice. Now, my friends, Uh, I had one guy that I worked with uh, a year ago come to me and he was like, hey, Scott, uh, you get into fights with your wife, right? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, sometimes. He's like, okay. Well, I was getting into a fight with my girlfriend uh-huh, and I was getting so mad at her, so frustrated. I just ended up punching a hole right through the wall. You know what I mean? 
no no <laughs> not at all <laughs> i have no clue what you're doing like i can't punch a hole through the first of all i rent does anyone else, like do you understand that? <laughs> punch a hole through the wall of my apartment i'm not even allowed to hang up pictures according to the <laughs> lease okay this dude lost his girlfriend and the security deposit in one blow one fucking mm -hmm. blow <laughs> Also, I'm not strong enough. I like who are the who are the guys punching through walls? I'm not Vin <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> Jesus, Christ, I need help pulling apart shopping carts at the grocery store. I can't. <laughs> I need an attendant. Do we all remember grocery stores? We still go to those, right? Um, you know, I start. I started a a, a new job uh, before the pandemic, and they had a presentation on the dress code at the job, right? And for the what not to wear, they had a stock image of just a slob. And then on the what to wear uh, side, they had an, an image of John Legend from <laughs> GQ magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, was just, I was just amazed, like, wait, I, does the bar for my work's dress code start at John Legend? That's like too... <laughs> I've never dressed as well as John Legend in my fucking life. Are you kidding me? Don't put John, Le like put a, put a picture of John C. Riley on that side. Someone attainable, someone attainable. Before I come to work on Monday, I have to buy a $9,000 bomber jacket and a grand piano just to come in like, well, I look like John Legend now, don't I? Um, I don't know, it was weird. We do like, uh, we do icebreakers now. Uh, to start all our Zoom meetings. Yeah, someone someone reacted so disdainfully. When I said, I, <laughs> that's how we start work now. We go, we go around, we go, everyone say your name and what superpower you'd like to have. And everyone yeah. always, always says the same things. They always say the same thing. They say they want to fly. They want to fly. My question, what is Danielle from HR going to do with the power of flight, right? <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? You, what are you going to take a? You got a new angle to take pictures of your cat from Danielle? Is that what you're doing? Or <laughs> Danielle, she's the one that wanted gluten free birthday cake. She's she's going to take flight. <laughs> she's going to take. If you got to pick a superpower, why didn't she pick the power to digest gluten? That would have been a good one for her. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Um, okay, guys, that's my time. Improvisers. Good luck. Okay, I'm Scott, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Give it up for Scott Cease, everyone. Yay. He's my absolute favorite. Oh, my God. That sounds like hell. Uh, those yeah, wow. Like, everyone, I've the, like, the icebreaker games, like, say your favorite color. I hate, I hate those things in school. I'm sorry. I'm being really negative now. No. Also, <laughs> Scott, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 15. I'm a, I'm like a like a mature fifteen. No, I'm twenty six. <laughs> okay, I I was just thinking like when you said people said you were really young to get married, and I was like, well, like sixteen is pretty young. But oh, we did not get married you. at sixteen. No, we got <laughs> <laughs> got it. We got, got married it. at twenty four, and all all my sure. stand up friends reacted in horror. But that was <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> well. Your shitty life decisions. Actually, my forehead is still blue, so I have no <laughs> room to talk. Uh, let's do more improv. Get out of here, Ben. <laughs>I think I, I could really use some, some deep therapy today, uh, doctor. Um, I've been really wrestling with this problem. Um, you know, as you know, I'm married uh, and I love my wife. We really have nothing, nothing to fight about. Um, but well, she was, as you know, she was just elected to our district of Congress and I feel like I can't pass up the opportunity to fight her now. <laughs> it, uh, you, you mean like, verbally no no i mean after the 2032 act where everybody can fight their own congressman in you know battle to the death i mean cut to the fight where he's fighting uh aoc fuck yeah i get to marry aoc <laughs> <laughs> love him i love him prof <laughs>
<laughs> All right, you. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Begin. Are you going to throw some drinks got... at me? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. If you ever worked a shift in my shoes, you'd be in the walk in crying on your first fucking day oh. because oh. Oh. you would have cried for getting a 10%. Tip. Oh, the, the, also, the Twitter attack from AMC. Shit. <laughs> prepared for this. Medicare for all. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh. Undefeated. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, did you say undefeated? My bad. Scene, scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's my little baby girl. How are you? Oh, oh yeah. God. Daddy, daddy's here to, to feed you your little bit of baby food. Yep, it's been 20 of my years. But, but as we all know, since you were born in December, you don't have a birthday, so you're just my little baby. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Father, I'm really happy to have the chance to come home for the mm -hmm. semester from college. Uh, I'm really excited to spend time with you. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, how do I put this? I don't like being spoon fed by you. Like, I don't like it. Uh, I also Is somebody the mad. Yes, you are the mad. <laughs> Daddy, oh. I don't need you to change my diaper. In fact, I don't even wear diapers anymore. Oh, you little bad butt. You took your diaper off and running around. Oh, oh. Bad butt. Daddy, this is kind of weird, and my friends keep talking about it. And I it's come up in therapy a whole fucking bunch. Dad, <laughs> I just cursed. I'm not a baby. Okay. Like you don't count. Like <laughs> I, I, I still grow older, okay? Like, even though I, my birthday's wrapped up in Christmas. Yeah, we, I mean, honey, without us celebrating a birthday, there, there's no way to really keep track of, of how old you are. So, I mean, <laughs> clearly you're, you're just still our little baby girl. Yeah, I drive. I have a job. I know I you are so advanced. I talk to all the guys at the job and I say, you have no idea what my baby can do. And they're, they're shocked. They are absolutely shocked that I have a baby in college like you. So, Dad, <laughs> by the way, I wanted to mention, oh, I, I wanted to mention that you shouldn't talk about your baby to the guys at your job and what she can do. That's kind of weird, right? Like, to him doing that. <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday, right? I, I think my baby said fuck. It, it, was, <laughs> it was it was crazy. I mean, you know, she I, I always tell you she has a she has a tremendous vocabulary for for someone less than a year old. Um, but <laughs> she 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 said fuck. I thought your daughter you your daughter's in college, I thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, she's made so many leaps and bounds in this year. Now, you just said less than a year old. Yeah, yeah. She hasn't had her first birthday yet. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I really like that we connected over um, both having problems with being addicted to icebreakers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, it isn't so hard for me to ask, not ask you, if you were a color, what color would you be? And, like, why? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so hard. Well, uh, but what color would you be? I just get uh, out. Uh, green. Green. <gasps> green. Yeah. But I have, I have one for you. Um, if, if you were a car, would you be a V4? V six or V eight. <laughs> I know we shouldn't be asking each other these. We said we'd quit, uh, but I would be. I would definitely be a V six. I mean, ooh, 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 vroom, right? vroom. <laughs> these white people are so fucking happy. I can't stand this fucking scene. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, I just want to make sure that you and Todd are okay. Yeah, we're we're great. Why? 
Okay, I was just scrolling through Venmo and I saw that he Venmoed another girl for shrimp fried rice. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was that was his roommate. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. I've yeah, been they, there, they, sweetie. I get it. He says it's his roommate. <laughs> That's a woman he's sleeping with. What no, can I do? Sarah, what can Sarah, I do for you? Sarah, first of all, is this the only reason that you called me? Yes. No, no. Oh, God, no. I wanted to catch up, but yeah. <laughs> you wanted I, to I'm worried. I mean, I, I deleted Instagram. I deleted Twitter. I spend most of my waking hours on Venmo, and I have tracked all of your interactions. I mean, you're lucky I didn't call when I saw that you Venmoed your mother three times in a week. Like, are your parents having money trouble? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> What? You can tell me, babe. I won't tell a freaking soul. If your parents are poor, just say the word. No, why are you tracking me on, on Venmo, dude? What? <laughs> You're so active. I, I get notifications every time you transact. Sarah, what? <laughs> that, that's a little bit crazy, right? That's, 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 I, I should have, I mean, I should have really, I thought I put that thing on private. That, that, are you okay? I mean, I'm fine. I'm you know, if, if anything, I'm worried about you, babe. <laughs> hey, there is no need to be to be worried about me. Um, I mean, I'm I'm worried about you ever since you were, you know, let go and everything. I haven't yeah. seen you in the last what six months until Yeah, it's been a really hard couple of months. Um, I did uh I was let go on that same day. I fell down a flight of stairs. And unscathed, thank God. I forgot, yeah. It was, that was one of the hardest days of my life. So, and then imagine my surprise when I see that your Marcus is Venmoing a girl for shrimp fried rice and another girl for boba on the same day. Hold on, boba? What? <laughs> girl, he doesn't Sweet. want it. <laughs> That is our show. That, that was a... I don't like to be in the last scene, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. And no, I am convinced people have been like, will get caught cheating on Venmo. I am convinced this is a thing. Like, oh, I like, as soon as she said that, I was like, oh, I've done, like, I do that every time I go to make a Venmo payment or like check a notification or something. I scroll way back and I'm friends with the most random fucking people on there. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I mean, it encourages you to do that. It is creepy. Yeah. But it's it really also, fun. you know, you know, the other thing you can learn from it, you can tell who pays the landlord for rent. You can yeah. tell who pays the cable bill because like three or four roommates are, sorry, my blue forehead is like really <laughs> distracting. <laughs> <laughs> but did, I have this like, <laughs> it, just, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, Beth. What a oh, great yeah. show. Yes, what we will be show. back on, it was great. We'll be back on January 23rd, Saturday best day of the week i don't know yeah and there's shows all the time like right now on high wire improv another one's about to start we have to stop right now so this one can start thank you everybody <laughs> thank you barry in addition to being on in the show he was doing tech thank you to high wire improv thank you to all the stand-ups all the comics everybody who watched thank you to beth thank you to target for giving her that turtleneck <laughs> <laughs> thank you, target. i love all right target. everybody Thank you, Hannah. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you all. <laughs> Thank you.